Hi, I'm the Moss Man, and today will be a different style of video. Today will be more of a voiceover style video with um, with me just talking over this footage. First off, we have the images of the original terrarium. So, unfortunately, the soil in this build became putrid, and the plants rotted out, except for the moss. Moss is doing A-OK. -okay. What I'm going to do first is to rip out all of that, all of the, the moss and the hardscape, and uh, take the soil out as well. Just now I've taken the soil out and I've removed some of the rocks and charcoal and I'm just going to continue removing the rocks and charcoal and as much usable material as I can from the soil. the soil has been removed we have to clean off the container of course we don't want any more of that putrid soil sitting around on our container also just looks bad so I'm just washing it off with water here no like soap or anything so I've got the soil removed I've got uh, this little tray of soil left uh, kind of rotten putrid soil and I'm going to go dump it out. I didn't want to dump it out in the compost or just like throw it in my backyard or something in, like that because what's the fun in that? So what I've done is decided to walk to the nearest forest and deposit it with other soil. And it's gone. And then I'm heading back home. Okay, after this I've decided to um, clean off some of the debris, starting with the larger hardscape elements, in this case the rocks, um, and I have another container so I can just keep them in the sink there while I wash the other ones off. So yeah, so I'm just going to wash off the large rocks and the uh, smaller ones as well, and just throw them all in this container here. filling up this container with water uh, just to let the rock sit and release any other soil or bacteria or whatever just kind of get it out into the water a little bit and yeah so I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and while I do that I'm gonna continue washing other pieces of the hardscape the only other piece really is this one piece of wood And now I'm taking this uh, microfiber cloth and just trying to get all the dirt and fingerprints and stuff off of the outside. And then also going through the inside to do the same thing. It's not super important that I get all the water and debris out right now because when I fill it up again it's all going to go everywhere and I'm going to have to do this again. But it's nice to get at least a bunch of the stuff off. These 
rocks have finished soaking and I'm just going to place them on some paper towel to dry out a little bit. Um, they're relatively porous rocks actually, so you might see that some of them are floating in the water. So we've got the rocks cleaned, uh, the next step here is to mix up some new soil. What I've got is some Promix Tropical Mix, um, some dried sphagnum moss, and a little bit of fir bark. All of these things I found at uh, my local nursery, where I work actually. But they shouldn't be too hard to find at your local nursery too. Alternatively, all of these things are available online, and the specific soil you use, just kind of whatever, whatever you think is best for your setup. Oh, and there's me forgetting that uh, I have to actually soak the sphagnum moss before I put it in the soil. Uh, to kind of like get it going, to get it ready for the soil, you should first soak it a little bit and then uh, kind of squeeze it out until it's still damp, but not soaked and not dry either. That'll be good enough for our purposes. Once I've got the wet sphagnum moss, I'm just pulling it apart a little. To mix the sphagnum moss properly, I tore it up a little um, and kind of spread it out a little bit so it could mix better. And I'm just adding a, a small handful of, of wood chips in, it's kind of for nutrients, kind of for uh, keeping the soil from compressing. I'm just going to mix it together now, keep ripping up that sphagnum moss and pushing it in and through. Um, and it was at this point that I realized I did not have nearly enough tropical mix in comparison to the amount of sphagnum moss that I had added. So I, I grabbed my soil again and just dumped a little more in. This part of the process, mixing the soil and getting uh, the correct soil left, the tropical mix on its own would probably be sufficient. I'm just adding a little bit extra in. Now that we have our soil mixed, the one of the last parts of preparing for a terrarium is um, getting the plants ready. What we're going to do is remove these two plants which I've selected. Technically there's moss as well and we're reusing the moss from the previous terrarium so there's not really any prep work I have to do with the moss. Uh, with these plants what I'm going to do is kind of remove the soil and free up the roots a little bit so I can fit the plants better where I need them to fit. Some say messing with the roots before you repot or replant is a good thing, is a healthy, a beneficial thing. Others say that it, it won't be necessarily harmful but isn't the most conducive to good growth. Um, in this situation, I'm just doing it for the convenience of having kind of a more moldable root structure. And also, what I can't get through with my hands, I'm going to run through the water. Now, I didn't mention what kind of plants these were. Uh, one is a peperomia, and the other is a nerve plant. I'll put the scientific name and various other common names on the screen as necessary. Now that all the plants have been cleaned, we're done setting up to put a terrarium together. I'll be putting the terrarium together in the next video. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like, 
and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.